Sometimes the simplest things really are the most joyous. This fried rice is made with some humble ingredients, but with a little bit of technique, we are gonna make it epic. This is my Thai railway, I'll tell you about that later, fried rice. So story has it, this fried rice was served and sold on the railways of Thailand uh, and probably still is. Uh, but the point is, I think in that kind of environment had to be sort of simple ingredients and quite cheap ingredients as well. So this one is budget friendly and very simple everyday ingredients, but I'm going to show you how to get the best out of them. So let's get started first of all with the tomato. Now I know not everyone would think of tomato as a fried rice or a stir fry kind of vegetable or fruit. Technically it's a fruit, I think. But um, in Thailand, we often use tomato in our fried rice and I really like it. So what you want are some nice little wedges. And the cool thing about the tomato is it's actually adding that kind of umami savouriness. I know you guys hear me talk about that all the time, but tomatoes have a natural amount of glutamates that add that extra savoury flavour. So there is method to the madness here. Now the other thing I'm gonna do is get some eggs prepped. I really like an eggy fried rice. I'm into that, so I'm gonna go with three eggs. Now you wanna get your wok or your pan really hot here. So earlier I was talking about how we're gonna use a bit of technique to get the very best out of our simple ingredients. So, very, very hot is the first thing. Like, I wanna be able to make this like scary hot. You should be able to, you know, see a little smoke happening. Once that happens, then we can add in our oil. Now in with the garlic. So with the garlic, chop it nice and rough so it doesn't burn the second it hits the oil. Another little tip there. And some onion. Now the reason we want to get that pan so hot is that, you know how like in the movies or you know when you're watching a fancy chef documentary or something uh, on Netflix, you see you know the wok happening really fast and there's fire and you know everything's happening so quickly, but they're actually in a restaurant with a really high sort of powerful burner underneath. At home, it's just not the same. So you really kind of do need to adjust a little bit your cooking method. Um, it's not the movies. <laughs> so I like to give the ingredients a lot of time with the heat so that we get a little bit, a bit of that like smoky chariness, which you want uh, for a fried rice. Oh, I love the smell of onion and garlic in a wok. Simple things make me so happy. So the onion's just starting to soften. I'm going to get my tomatoes in there. And what I want here is again to leave the tomatoes to get a little bit of that kind of cooked sort of thing happening, getting into the heat, and that way we're getting more of the flavor developing. So leave them in there till they soften up a little bit. You can give them a toss every now and then. Okay, tomatoes looking a little softer, broken down a little bit, so now I'm going to add in my cabbage. I did say very simple ingredients here, humble ingredients. You could use cabbage, you could use some Chinese broccoli, you could use regular broccoli, whatever you like. Now just toss that around until you just kind of see that green colour pop. Don't want the cabbage to get too wilty. Now I'm going to go on with my rice. So let's talk about rice for a little bit. Uh, this is rice that I made yesterday. If you want to watch a video on exactly how to make the perfect rice for fried rice, I have one of those on my channel for you, so get in there. Um, but basically you want the rice to be really nice and dry, not gluggy, slightly undercooked. So, and that means we're just gonna get a better texture for the fried rice. Okay, so that goes in. Now I wanna go in with some fish sauce, of course, because we're talking Thai fried rice here. And now some regular light soy sauce, light soy sauce just being, uh, you know, your everyday Chinese soy sauce. And now the dark soy sauce. So this is like the key characteristic to this railway fried rice. It's the color and that little bit of sweetness. Oh, I love this part where the rice gets all like coated and basically just turns into something really burnished and beautiful. You wanna make sure that each grain gets its share of that kind of seasoning love. Now another little secret ingredient here and this one comes directly from my mum and that is a little sprinkling of sugar. 
So we're not making things sweet here, we're just adding another little element that's going to help to like caramelize and get that kind of deep, uh, almost smoky flavor in the wok. Now this is looking good. What I need to do now is do my eggs. So sort of push everything to the side and you want to add in a little bit more oil on this empty side and then in go the eggs. Now what I do here is kind of like tilt the pan a little bit so more of the egg part is on the heat and then just kind of push them around, buoy them around a little in the pan there and get them starting to set. Okay, so once that egg is looking sort of like almost set, I kind of get in there and start flipping it over. And I like to keep my egg kind of chunky. I like to see the bits of egg in there. So I'm just gonna leave like that and then just start tossing everything together. Okay, by now things should be smelling incredibly beautiful and fried ricey. Is that even a smell? I'm sure that's a smell. There is definitely a specific fried rice smell. Now, another little key kind of secret ingredient, well, if you're Thai, it's not so secret, but um, white pepper. We love to put a lot of white pepper on our fried rice. So go in there with a really decent pinch. It just kind of has a more um, delicate aroma, pepper kind of aroma and flavor than black pepper. And now for some final like pop of freshness, I want some coriander and spring onion. Now just sprinkle most of that on top. I'm gonna to leave a little bit for some garnish at the end. Now this is the kind of fried rice my mum would love. Quite old school with the tomato and the simple ingredients. Oh, so good. Okay, let's get this out. Now the other thing with Thai fried rice is that for me, it's the final little bits of zhuzhing that really make everything pop and amazing. So you gotta get some prick nam bla. This is what we call prick nam bla and it is some very spicy chilies, uh, some fish sauce. You can optionally put a little squeeze of lime or lemon. I like to put a little squeeze in there. And then we always have cucumber because the cucumber kind of cools down the palate as you're eating your fried rice and depending on how much chili you're putting on there, obviously in between the spicy mouthfuls. Now I like to have a bit of a decorative uh, cucumber for this one. I mean, you know, we're talking old school here. So I like to get the, you know, julienne peeler out and have nice little sort of edges and then a little lemon or lime wedge and a final little sprinkling of some greenery. And there you go guys, a very old school style of fried rice, Thai railway fried rice. Let's get in here and see how we've gone. I want a squeeze of that lemon. I want a very generous amount of that chili, you know me. Mm, that smell. This has all the things. So you get the, <clears throat> wow, that chili is punchy. You get the chili, you get the tangy lemon, and then you get that like savory fried rice and the egg and the tomato. Mm. And just a little hint of the pepper. That is technically perfect and just delicious. Yum.